Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari and in the series of lectures on professional ethics, today I am going to cover the concept of state bar councils. Here I am going to cover section 3, 5, 6, 8 and 54 of the Advocates Act 1961 and in my next slide I have the details of these particular sections. Why to waste time? Let's get into the next slide. Section 3 is about locations and name of bar councils and there we are discussing about members and formation also. Section 8 discusses about the term of office of the state bar council. Likewise, section 54 discusses about the term of office of state bar council which is formed for the first time. And then we have section 5 which discusses about bar council as a body corporate and the last section that I am going to discuss here is one of the most important section that is section 6 where we are going to discuss the functions of the state bar council. With that we are also discussing how are the funds received and how exactly they are spent. What is the approach? I have brought all these sections here in the slides and I am not going to explain all of them but I have brought all the information because these are very very important for the judicial exams. I am going to give key information for the law students so that your answers becomes easy when it comes to law exams. With that I am taking you to the next slide. Section 3.1 discusses about the locations and names of different bar councils. Now the act that is the Advocate Act 1961 came in the year 1961 but then we have added many states and union territories after that also. That way the number of bar councils are also increasing and here I have brought almost all the amendments as far as this particular section is concerned. We have different bar councils for different states. Likewise, we have Bar Council of Assam, Nagaland, Meghalaya, Manipur, Tripura, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh. We have Bar Council of Kerala. We have Bar Council of Madras. We have Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa. We have Bar Council of Punjab and Haryana. We have Bar Council of Himachal Pradesh. We have Bar Council of West Bengal and then we have Bar Council of Delhi. In the first clause I told we have different bar councils for different states where we have covered Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Orissa, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Uttaranchal. Now if you observe Andhra Pradesh is now being divided into two states that is Andhra Pradesh and Telangana so that way there can be increase of bar council also that is one observation you need to keep and with that I am moving on and this information is very very easy and important for those who are writing judicial exams that is why I have brought the entire section here now I am moving to section 3 subsection 2. Section 3.2 is very important because it discusses about the members and formation. Now I am not going to discuss too much on section 2a because there we are discussing about different states and then we are discussing about the external member who can be additional solicitor general of India ex officio or maybe advocate general of the state ex officio. Now it differs for different state to state and I have given the section as is. Section 3b is very important because this discusses about the number of members in any bar council. If the total members are less than 5000 then the bar council of such state will have 15 members and if the total number of members is between 5000 to 10,000 then the bar council will have 20 members and if the total members are more than 10,000 in that case the bar council will have 25 members and how are they selected? They are selected with single transferable vote from such advocates. Now one of the important provision that we need to remember is at least 50% of such elected bar council members should be having more than 10 years of experience. That is one of the important provision that we need to remember. Once after such 15 or 20 or 25 members election, among the elected members, 
those elected members will elect a chairman and a vice chairman as prescribed in their state bar council now this is all we need to remember there will be one ex officio as discussed under section 32a and then we have number of members who are getting selected based on total number of members available in that bar council as per section 32b and then among the elected members they will elect a chairman and vice chairman this is how the members and the formation of a state bar council is done with that i am moving on then comes the term of office of state bar council which is discussed under section 8 and here you need not to break your mind it is 5 years now why i have brought section 54 here section 54 discusses about term of office of members of first state bar council now while i was discussing section 31 i told there are different bar councils in different locations and i told in andhra pradesh earlier there was only one bar council but now it is been divided now there are two states one is andhra pradesh the other one is telangana if there are going to be two bar councils in that case there will be election for such bar council and as they will be new bar council whoever is getting elected for the first time their number of years or the term of office will be 2 years only because it is a newly formed bar council that is what you need to remember if it is newly formed then the term of office will be 2 years as per section 54 but if it is already existing in that case the term of office will be 5 years as discussed under section 8 i hope you are observing the difference very clearly and now i am taking you to section 5 which discusses about bar council to be body corporate yes bar council is a body corporate because it has perpetual succession it has a common seal it can acquire and hold any kind of movable and immovable property it can enter into contract and it can sue and it can be sued that is why we are considering it as body corporate as per section 5 here comes the heart of this session that is section 6 which discusses about functions of state bar councils this is one of the most repeated question in any of the exam and what are the functions they are quite easy the first and foremost is to admit persons as advocate now what is the difference between lawyers and advocates if someone is finishing graduation and then 3 years law course then they are becoming lawyer likewise if someone is doing 10 plus 2 and then 5 years law course they will also become lawyers after they complete law degree the bar council has to conduct exam for them and whoever is passing after they pass they have to make a fee payment to bar council to become the members and once they become the members they become the advocates that is how the admit of persons as advocates is done by bar council which is the first and foremost function of such state bar council the second one is prepare and maintain such role that's very easy once after making them advocate the bar council has to prepare and maintain such roles that is the second function the third function is about the misconduct of such advocates if there are any such entertaining and determining such cases under the misconduct by the bar council is one of the important function and the bar council is also responsible to safeguard the rights privileges and interest of the advocates who are in its role that is the fourth function the fifth function is about promoting and supporting law reforms now for that it needs to conduct seminars and organize talks on legal topics for its members from the eminent jurist etc likewise they need to publish journals as well as paper of legal interest they also need to organize legal aid for the poor and they have to manage and invest the funds of the bar council which is the sixth function the seventh function is about managing the election of its members 
and then the eighth one is to perform all other function conform or it under this act the last one reads to do all other things necessary for discharging the aforesaid functions these are the nine functions which are very very important which you need to read at least two or three times you should know it and you have to write all of these to get full marks while subsection 1 of section 6 focuses on the functions of state bar council subsection 2 focuses on how exactly the funds are utilized it says the funds need to be utilized for giving financial assistance for those who are indigent disabled or other advocates as per the rules made by such bar councils and it can also be used for giving legal aid or advice and then it can be used for establishing law libraries. Subsection 3 is about receiving the grants or funds. Now, for the purpose of giving financial assistance or organized welfare schemes for the indigent, disabled or other advocates or for giving legal aid or advice or for establishing law libraries. A state bar council can receive any grants, donations, gifts, etc. as per section 6, subsection 3. Usually, I keep my notes very easy, but for a change, here I have not changed any of the section. I have kept as is because these are very, very important for not only law exams, but also for bar council exams as well as many other judicial exams. Likewise, when I was explaining section 4 and 7, which is on Bar Council of India, that also I have used the same strategy. I have kept all the sections as is so that you get complete right information as per the act. With that, I am concluding. Thank you so much for subscribing my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. All the very best for whatsoever purpose you are referring my channel and thanks again.